Hello and good evening. My name is Dr. Chandra Hunter, and I will be your guide on this next hour-long special, just kidding, into the wonderful world of vision, entitled Point of View. Greetings. Today, we will be delving into the deeper mysteries of the humble eyeball. When we look at the eyeball, it doesn't look like much. But when we do a cross section, we see cones and rods. Let's take a closer look at these. These little conic shaped devices are called, you guessed it, cones. And cones allow us to see distinct features on objects and a wide range of colors. While rods deal with exclusively black and white and our peripheral vision. You may be familiar with the philosophical question. If a tree falls in the forest and there is no one around to hear it, does it still make a sound? The same question can be asked about vision. If the tomato is red, but there is no one around to see it, is the tomato still red? The answer, quite simply, is no. Color is an invention of the mind. A process called transduction turns a reflection of light into an image. You'll see these flowers as yellow and right side up thanks to the brain. The eyes alone reflect an image like this, upside down. And these flowers are actually anything but yellow, as they reflect yellow light. Located inside of the retina are three types of color receptors for green, red, and blue. When they are stimulated simultaneously, we see different colors. For example, when green and red receptors are activated at the same time, we say yellow. Thank you for watching Point of View. This special has been brought to you by... Both the nose. Honey nut flavor. Oh look, vitamin A for the eyes. <laughs>